All right, we are live, dreamers. How are you? Happy Friday, Tony. Welcome back. What is going on, dreamers? Shout out in the chat. Shout out, chat, man. Let us know how your week has been, Tony. How are you, man? Um, excellent, dude. Excellent. Right on, dude. Nice to see you, Will. Good to see you too, my friend. Good. To Thanks see for you having too. me, man. Ah, oh, man, it is my pleasure. My pleasure for sure. And and before we begin, I just want to let the dreamers in the chat know because I see it. We already got a heart. We've already got some thumbs. Keep those thumbs going. We already got some viewers. We are freaking live and wired, man. So before I get into what I'm going to talk to you about today, I got to know, is there anybody who wants to come on the show? There's a link I posted in the chat. Please pop on in. We won't bite. Just come on in. Come on in. Come on in and hang out. This is going to be a fun show today. Tony's a good friend of mine. And I am honored to have him back for Guest Appreciation Day. Tony had Tony Neville, or as some might know him, Fruitcake Tony, has has uh, been a fan of mine for quite a while. And he's become my friend. He's become a very yeah. good friend. And I am very thankful for that. Um, just real quickly before we start, I just want to give a quick big shout out to Witch Band in Germany, to uh, Volby, to um, Dustin Bones, El Puerto Records, Sal Quintero. Thank you, everybody, for expressing interest and in hanging with the dreamer. And I also want to say you're a musician, you're watching today, you're a musician, a guitarist. Check out my links on my channel for the Dreaming Guitarist Show. That will be the second show, Guest Appreciation, Fan Appreciation Day like today, and the Dreaming Guitarist Show, where I leave a link in the chat for anybody to join that would like to join. More than welcome. More the better. I could have nine, nine more people on today. Come on in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, man. Nothing but an errant opportunity for everybody. Love you, dreamers. Come on in. I can't wait to meet you face to face. And another special shout out very quickly to Sandra and to Sandra Pacconi. She's an awesome, awesome content creator. She is a wonderful friend of Tony's, and she's a wonderful friend of mine. And I just want to say thank you, Sandra, for all everything that you, you, all the wisdom you've given me about this social media and YouTube thing. Thank you, Sandra. Let's, let's keep our fingers crossed. Okay, Tony, man. Sandra! What is, what is happening, dude? Oh, not a lot, Will. How you doing, brother? Man, I am freaking great, dude. It's been a great week. Had a great two and a half hour show yesterday. It's, it's good. Life is good, man. Yeah, dude. Absolutely. Life, life is good. Yep. Ah. My work well, duties didn't let me watch all of yours. I ha had to pop in on break. Um. Yeah. And I also want to give a big shout out to my. Hey, Marcy. I also want to give a big shout out to my beautiful bride, Cindy. That's right. <laughs> Love you too, baby. All right. So, Tony, tell me all about. Your concert tickets. I want to hear all about this, man. Oh, about my con Oh, heck yeah. This dude. is huge noise, man. Huge this this noise. is this, this is huge noise. Yeah. So um choose Monday or Tuesday after a holiday weekend, I go back to work 
and um, I get a call from my buddy Ty, Ty Price, who is the co-host of Nez Says, Dave Nezdal's channel on their, their show is Wednesday at 8 Eastern. Ty lives near me here in the Carolinas. And um, so Ty says, dude, Guns N' Roses has just announced their tour and there is the Raleigh stop and Wolfgang Van Halen is the opening act for the whole North American leg. Amazing. And I'm, I'm what, 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 what? what? Yeah. And, and so then he says, and oh, by the way, pre-sale goes on sale tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So that's fan, fan club, privileged, you know, um, so they went on sale to everybody else this morning. Um, but we got ours um, a couple of days ago on Wednesday morning. And um, yeah, at the RBC Center in Raleigh, North Carolina, where the Carolina Hurricanes play hockey at. That's cool, man. Yeah, so this guns and this guns tour, they start in July and at Her Hershey Park, and which is like a, a outdoor shed almost. It, it's like the Hollywood Bowl, yeah. um, a, a big shed, you know. Uh, but but they're playing arenas they're playing Fenway Park they're playing Wrigley Field um Chris in the chat he's probably going to hit the Detroit stop um but yeah with with Wolfgang Van Halen's new al album that comes out a week from tomorrow. Um, this is this is going to prove to be the biggest concert tour of the year. Yeah, it will be. Absolutely. So um, now that they've put the Motley, Def Leppard, Joan Jett, Poison stadium tour off until 2022. This is going to be the, um, yeah. So, but it, it would still be huge, huge news because guns playing here in North Carolina. I don't miss that. I'm a huge guns and roses fan. But Wolfgang Van Halen, right after the album drops to be out, there's the opening act. Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> well, I saw where your tickets were at, man. I was just like. Yeah, yeah. I put yeah. A, po a post up in a red dot where we're right beside the, right beside the stage. Um yeah, that took a little bit of took a little bit of gas money to buy those tickets. I bet it did. I'm sorry to say. They're playing they're playing at Co America uh Park baseball stadium. Yeah. Yep, Chris San Fran. Fan. Hi, Chris. Chris, what's up, bro? Hey, CK. Oh my, God, oh, my God. oh, my God, it's the amazing and incomparable Sandra Picardi. Where, where, where is Sandra here somewhere? Is she behind the guitar case right here? Where is she? I, I don't see. Oh, now, well, she. 
let me give a shout out to CK. Oh, he yeah. has, CK is a plethora of rock and roll knowledge and a great dude. Real fun, really cool guy. And he, he's been, if you watch my show, Will, he's been on my show for a few weeks as a regular now. And we are happy to have him on. Yeah. CK. You know what? I've, heard, I've seen his name. I've seen his name in the chat a few times. I've even said hi to him. I'll say hi to him again. How you doing, CK? Thanks for tuning in, man. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, Fruitcake Tony is awesome. As a matter of fact, Fruitcake Tony is such a great dude. It's such a great friend, and he's loyal. He's a good guy, man. He's a good guy. And you know what? I'm very fortunate, CK, to call him my friend. So you know what? Hey, Tony gets all the respect in the world for me. I'll tell well, you thank, that. Thank you for saying that. That, that that's kind. I I hope we're all good guys around here. Yeah, you me know, too, man. I, I, me I too. mean, I look at it. I I look at this chat here, and they, all of us are good guys. So. Yeah, it's all yeah. good, man. It's all good. So you got these killer tickets. Yeah, boy. <laughs> that is going to be. You know, I, I thought about. I'd seek I have to say fruitcake Tony is hilarious. Oh, uh, that's. Oh, cold t-shirt. Yeah, that's what I was telling him. That's why I was telling him, CK. Hey, Marcy. Marcy in the house. What's up, chick? Hey, Marcy, click the link in the description box below. Yeah, guys, there is a link if you want to hop in this show, hang out on a Friday afternoon. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm learning the importance of Nightbot. Yeah, that that's what you were saying. Is Nightbot in here? Oh, yeah. Nightbot. All right. Me. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Nightbot is new to me also. But what was strange about it, I've used Nightbot for one week on my show, Will. And I went back. How long since my last gig, New Year's Eve, 07, going into 08? Hey, Sandra, God, it's been a long time. How you Sandra, doing? Sandra, Sandra. I haven't, I have not seen you forever. Thank you for we, being here today. We can proceed now. Sandra's here. Whew. All right, Sandra. Thanks for, thanks for being here. We're waiting on Could you. Could not be out. Absolutely. Yeah, life is like that sometimes, huh, Sandra? I know. Sandra's awesome. Yeah, so so Will, what I was saying about Nightbot. Now, I know Nightbot's new to you. It's new to me too. Um, Sandra, hey Brandon, she B, she's been using Nightbot on her show, Squat Squad Live, seven p.m. Eastern Time Saturdays. She's been using Nightbot for a few weeks now, um, and she she helped me get Nightbot. She's she's my co co producer co host, you know. But, so <laughs> a, after last week's show, Will, I went in and I was just looking at the chat and Nightbot, and I clicked on something, and I clicked on. <laughs> I clicked, Nightbot said, Fruitcake Tony, Facebook, 
and I clicked on it and it went to another Tony Neville, not this Tony Neville. It went to some ball. Not that I have hair left, but it went to some ball. It looked like, um, I don't know what, but it, it, it wasn't me. I was like, well, who is this Tony Neville? And how did that link get there? Yeah. We, we copied, pasted my links. I don't know how, how that happened, but we're iron, ironing out the night bot kinks still. So, um, but yeah, it, 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 it helps you post stuff in the chat you don't have, have to type a lot of stuff, just a little command, and, you know, it's very useful. I need to get some moderators. Um, I'm hoping... I'm hoping that... Hey, hey. Andy Dion's here? Andy, hey, what's man. up, bro? Hey, Andy, man. I saw your latest video on YouTube, dude. Well done, man. Well done. Yeah, Sandra loved Night Fight, man. <laughs> I can't believe it's working for me, Sandra. This is great. Now I just need to get a whole bunch of moderators to do this stuff for me. Soon, I hope. If you want the best moderator... She is the moderator... Of all moderators, I'll tell you, she she a moderator's job is to post links, spread the love, and she does that to a T. Yeah, Sandra's um, the best man. Yeah, so if you just click on her name in the chat, you can instantly make her a mod. Really? Yeah. Click on, click her name on the chat. Huh. The, it, it should be bars, three dots right beside it. Right beside her in, in the comments on YouTube, not um, StreamYard. It has to oh, be YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah. If, if, you, on YouTube. if you've got that up. Uh, and it'll say add moderator and you can just click on it and she's instantly in blue with the wrench. Well, you know what I really like, Tony, about um let's see. Ah, oh, it says I'm live, but I don't see the I don't see the broadcast. Hmm. Oh, I guess I gotta click on it. Oh, there it is. Let's see. Add moderator. Well, Sandra's now a moderator. Sandra, <laughs> thank you. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I lost you, Tony. I'm here, bro. Oh, no, I'm back. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, but let me shut this. Let me shut this, um, shut this tab down. Sorry, Tony. Okay, so, like, let's see. CK saying. She is simply unmatched. Amazing. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Okay. I'll agree. I'll agree. Sandra does rule, man. Sandra's the ultimate as far as I'm concerned. Man. It says, it's, I hit it. Marcy says, and it says block a report. Yeah. Anybody in the chat, that's what it, but Will, if you hit it as the controller um, in, in, in your community, you can 
it'll say it'll give you the option to add moderator so you can add in, anybody's name in, in the chat who, who you want to be a mod you just do that same thing and boom it's Absolutely. instantaneous but yeah so those names will appear if you go into your customization youtube stuff and all that it'll appear moderators um, appear in your community. Part. Brendan B. Squirt, got to make dinner. Wanted to stop in and say hello. Be safe out there. Hey, Brendan. All Thank right, you. B. Thank you for being here, man. Nice to see you, bro. Happy Friday. Thank you. Thank you. Cool, man. Andy Dion, Marcy Douglas. Thank you for being here. So, what are the let's see Andy's saying later Brendan um Brendan saying <laughs> sorry I can't stay longer it's all good Brendan I'm just glad you stopped in and said hi man hang out longer next time when you can awesome I'd love to have you thanks Brendan so what what do you see happening I want to talk about your social media what do you see where do you see your social media headed, say, in a year? Well, I'll tell you, Will, my, my pages are not for basically me to just a personal page. I set mine up specifically for my YouTube show. And there is also a Facebook show me your pick fan page as well. Um, and so all I post on my page is, you know, show stuff, music stuff, um, you know, once in a blue moon, you'll, you'll see stuff about my dogs once in a blue moon, hmm. but it, it, it's designed for this YouTube show that, um, yeah, turn one year old in just a couple of weeks. Well, I'm going to start speaking of one year anniversary. I'm going to, when I hit my one year anniversary of hanging with the dreamer, um, I'm going to have a giveaway and I've got a piece of gear here that I'm going to give away. It's, um, I, I really have no use for it. I have two of these things and how many wireless units does a person need in their life? So I've got the one that I want. I've got a nice digital boss wireless unit that gets you up to 400 feet. But what I'm giving away is a line six relay wireless unit that'll get you up to 200 feet. And it's a G10. So when I hit one year and and a, say 500 subscribers. If I could hit 500 subscribers on the show that marks my year anniversary, I'm going to be giving, coming up with a give, giveaway. And the winner of that giveaway is going to be, I can talk about now. Because it's mine. <laughs> Vine suits. G10. Wireless unit. Cool. Bada, bing, bada bing, bada bam. <laughs> Andy Dion says, I need to be 201 feet away. <laughs> From my drummer. <laughs> You're funny. The, 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 these things go so far, but the only time you're going to be that far 
is if you're doing uh, sound check from way in the back of the of of the club or whatever, you know, no no stage is that big, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> and it says a brand new car. <laughs> so what what's going on? What tell the tell tell my awesome family of dreamers here, man. Tony, what is going on? What are the plans that you have with Show Me Your Pick and with Halenville for the rest of the year? Do you have any? Abs yeah, we we will continue with show show me your pick. We are we are um about to approach one year here in a couple of weeks. And you know, on the show we spotlight a different artist each week, show you know, memorabilia of that band. But on the 19th, um, we are going to take that week to just invite a lot of the guests who we've had on the show back, at least to stop in a bit to say hi. Um, we're not going to do one specific band, but you know, on the show each week, we do a trivia question and give it, give away a guitar pick from that week's band. Mm -hmm. We're going to take all the names from the whole year, from all the weekly winners, put the names in a hat, and we're going to draw out one grand prize winner and there is a video on my YouTube page of what we're giving away. It's a Brendan B. Squared custom-made Stigar Box 5-watt practice amp. I'd love to have that. And it's got these logos, like your shirt, on the... On the on the box amp itself and we'll draw a name out and, and somebody is going to win that in honor of our one year anniversary. Um, yeah. So, but <laughs> so in, in next week on the show, yeah, lay it on and, us, man. In honor, this this is the spoiler. I nor I, I I put something out early week of that week's band, but um, next week, in honor of the new al album by Mammoth Wolfgang Van Halen that drops a week from today, next Saturday. We're doing a Wolfgang Van Halen show me your pick. Um, ah, <laughs> and of yeah. course, I'm a huge Van Halen fan, and I haven't done a Van Halen show me your pick. I've been kind of saving it for you know that's going to be a big, big show, but I, I, in honor of that new album, we're gonna do a Wolfgang Van Halen show or show me your pick episode and yeah wow man yeah yeah so that'll be next week when the album drops it's going to be exciting um, and <laughs> we'll talk about that on the other Halenville live show as well, <laughs> the Brendan Cigar Box <laughs> needs a Line Six wireless system. It does, <laughs> but I ain't gonna be the one winning it. So maybe I might wait. And well, Andy might win that thing. He's won in, in this past year. Um, Chris in the chat, he's won also. 
So, um, yeah. I must say I'm excited for the future too, Sandra. Oh, Sandra, I already clicked on your name and made you a moderator. Um, I don't know if it's showing that, if you're seeing that on your end or not, but you are officially a moderator of mine. Um, well, I've got to ask you. I've got to. I see that. Thanks. <laughs> thank you, Sandra. I'm the lucky one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I really got to ask, Tony, besides this show that you're going to see that's absolutely freaking mind-blowingly epic, are there any other shows that you're hoping will pass through Raleigh? Well, there is. Brandon lives in New York, and... We're looking at a Vixen show that's going to be happening up. There's a couple of them very near him in August or September, October in there. And I'm going to make a road trip up there and, and, and go see him and go watch Vixen get VIPs and, you know, make a weekend out of it. Vixen, man. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow, dude. That is going to be pretty killer, man. Yeah. Vixen. Wow. But there, there's no exacts on, on those shows on their site yet. But the minute that there is. Has any. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Has anybody, oh, Sandra, hard at it. Make sure to ring that bell. Never miss an upload. Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> Andy Dion said, <laughs> road trip to the Empire State. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Yeah. But, awesome. you know, not, and, Brandon is such a great guy and he he's been on the show for for each week for almost a year now and yeah. but never having met him face to face that's going to be super cool yeah you know? yes um but but what's really cool though will about this um, GNR Wolfgang show in Raleigh is now Ty Price lives near me and we, we've been at the, many of the same shows for years and years and years and we know each other on, only on YouTube yeah. but he's going um Charles Green, who's been on my show a while now. Yeah. He lives here in North Carolina. Oh, right on. And he's going. So me and my buddy Steve and his son, who's grown, and his buddy, who have gone to GNR shows with me since um, 16, Ty and his vixen, no, oh, GNR, GNR, yeah, yep, yep, mammoth WBH, yep, wonderful. There'll be wonderful. a live stream on my phone from pre show, yeah. Oh, cool, Chris, that's cool, Christopher. I drove from Michigan. To Raleigh, North Carolina, to see Kid Rock a few summers ago, 2000, 2013, I think. Solid. Well, that must have been gnarly, dude. But I'll tell you the show that I'm waiting for. I mean, I miss shows. I miss going out. And especially now, since my two shows are taken out, 
I, I want to be able, I'm fully vaccinated. I could jump through all the hoops without too much trouble, I hope. And I want to be able to go. And I'm really looking forward to, um, I really want to see Alice Cooper. And I really want to, and I really want to see Jung Jet. And I really want to, I really, really, really want to see um, some of these German bands I've been promoting. I've been promoting on Hanging with the Dreamer, man. I want to see Witchbound. I want to, I want to see um, Dust and Bones. I mean, I want to see these bands because these are the bands that are helping me keep going. And yeah. these these are the artists and the music and the bands that's keeping me plugged in and moving straight. You know, Charles Green, Charles Green, I honestly thought, and, and, and color me red now, I was, I'm embarrassed, I'm going to turn red in a minute. I honestly thought Charles Green... <laughs> Used to be a member of Jefferson Starship. Really? Yeah. I thought when you remember when you had the Jefferson Starship uh show me your pick show? Yeah. Jefferson Airplane? Yeah, yeah. I I tuned into that, right? I was there. And here's this guy sitting there on the screen with you. It was Charles Green. And yeah, I looked, yeah. I looked at him. I'm like, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. And I started to think that this guy was either Paul Cantner. Paul Cantner. <laughs> <laughs> or you he's know, passed now. He, he yeah. passed away a few years ago. Yeah. Well, I'll I'll say this. He'll he'll get a kick out of this when I tell him. <laughs> Well, no, no, I, I, I honestly thought that, you know, and I was like, who is this guy, man? I'm thinking in the back of my head, where have I seen this guy before, man? And I couldn't place it. Then he started talking about Hollywood. And then he started talking about the Sunset Strip in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. And then he started talking about one of my old haunts, the whiskey. Then yeah. he started talking about the rainbow. And I thought to myself, that's it. That's well, it. That's it. He, right he he grew up there and he he, he used to work at the whiskey mm -hmm. in the early eighties. Yeah. And he moved here twenty years ago, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, he he he's here on the East Coast now. Well, I I hope so. I hope so, Sandra, because I really thought I thought to myself, man, I've seen this dude somewhere before. I I've, I've actually <laughs> seen him. Where have I seen him? It's driving me crazy, man. At first, like I said, Paul Kantner jumped into my head. And then Jefferson Airplane jumped in my head. And then later on, Jefferson Starship jumped in my head. And then a couple of weeks later, I tuned back in. I said, hi. And there he was. And he was talking about the Sunset Strip, man. And I'm like, snap, that's it. That's where I know him from. I know him from the whiskey. I know him from the whiskey. The whiskey was a regular, regular place of mine in the 80s. That and all over Sunset, the Viper Room. And yeah, I thought to myself, so yeah, I mean, I hope he gets kicked out of that, man. I hope that makes him happy. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, Charles Green is a great positive dude. Yes, he is. See, that's yeah. another thing. 
is that Charles Green, I wish he was here right now and he'd pop on. I could tell him to his face. But but um, Charles Green is a good guy. And I, you're lucky, Tony, because if this is the dude that I think it is, if this is the guy that I think it is, he's got incredible incredible stories to share with you man oh yeah he already has he already has yeah he he was who had him like um hack had had him on a couple of nights ago yeah but you'll have to ask charles man you have to ask charles green if he knows about the coconut teaser Ask him that. I see what he tells I, you. Man. Ask him what now? If he knows about the seventh veil and the coconut teaser. Okay. Just ask him that. See the expression on his face. Look at it, the expression on his face. Ask him if he knows about the seventh veil and the coconut teaser, man. All right. I certainly will. Don't, those are the great times, man. So what is your favorite your favorite concert, Tony? I've got to ask you this. You're my guest. Thank you for being here today. What is your greatest, most favorite concert that you have been to for all the years of going to shows? Well, I, it, it, it may surprise you, but um, so on my YouTube channel, there is a video where I rank my top 10 concerts of all time. Mm -hmm. And you, there's bands that I've seen multiple, multiple, multiple times. And each show has its own piece in history. Um, you know, but the thing is, the and I've been, I, I saw the a, a, 88 Monsters of Rock mm. right back there. Yes. Um, in R, RFK Stadium. I've seen some, some really big, cool concerts. But as far as, the performance and everything involved. When GNR re reconvened in 2016 and went out on the road, they came to Winston Salem, North Carolina, BB&T Field. It's a football stadium, mm -hmm. and um, there were I don't know. 60,000 there and the stage was the biggest outdoor stage that I have ever seen with the video screens and the pyro and they didn't just stand there in one place they i mean they literally used every inch uh, of mm -hmm. that stage mm -hmm. and they played I, I don't 32 songs i mean it, it was a very long show and who was that guns and roses oh okay yeah and this was August of 2017. Was that Chinese democracy? No, this was this not in this lifetime tour. Okay. Yeah. That that this was a after the reunion. And um but that it it was the yeah, that of all the concerts I've ever seen, that that's the best show. And we walked out out of that place, and my 
friend Steve, he brought his kid and his friend, and they were 18 at the time. Mm Mm-hmm. And had never gone to watch a concert. I think they had seen Kiss once, maybe. But we walked out of that place and literally looked at them and said, Boys, you're ruined. It'll never get any better than this. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. But it, it it was, and I've seen um, GNR. I went back in '19 and watched them in Charlotte, and it was great, great show. But that outdoor show a couple of years prior that was the that was the best show, top to bottom, in every way that I've ever seen. It wow. it. Uh, uh, a, a live show does not get any better. And I probably for it, as much as I go watch shows from here on, I'll never see one as good. I would say. Well, check out Ed. That sounds phenomenal, man. No doubt, Tony. The summer of 96. Chris, you were there at that show. That's a historic Kiss show right there, brother. With Alice in Chains opening up for a show and makeup in 17 years. Yeah, Tiger Stadium's opening night, dude. Yeah, yeah. That that was a historic show. <laughs> Still gives me, gives me the goosebumps. Nice. Sandra says the stadium's gone now. Isn't it? Yeah, isn't Tiger Stadium gone? Tiger Stadium, but I have a piece of Tiger Stadium. A lot of a lot of people don't know this. Sandra, my crew does, but I I collect baseball memorabilia as well as music memorabilia, and I I collect seats, actual stadium seats from a bunch of different ballparks, and I I've got a Tiger Stadium seat. Well, oh, Cobo Hall, yeah, cool. Cobo Hall, man. Nice, Chris. Sandra's seen, let's see, I got to see Allison James before Lane Staley died. No way, Sandra, really? That's awesome. That That's awesome. That's when they were in their prime, for sure. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah. I had a feeling, <laughs> yeah. I made decals for Tony. You yeah, gotta... she 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 made some some logos to go on my latest set of stadium seats from the vet that I got not too long. They they weren't aisle seats that had the mural on the aisle side, you know, like a lot of them do. They were off the middle. And so I, I I put cool vet stadium lo- logos on on the backrest of each seat. Sandra made those; they look really sharp. They're right there. Oh, I'm sure they Just do. Off I'm camera, sure. yeah, yeah. I've seen Kiss twice. Sandra says, with makeup and out, both shows were epic. Yeah, me too, Sandra. I I I remember seeing Kiss. Going to Long Beach Sports Arena when they were doing the Dress to Kill tour, mm. and I saw it, and I saw that, and that was my first. And then I went back, and I was at the live taping for Kiss Alive too, and um, I've seen Kiss several times. I saw, and I remember the Creatures of the Night tour when with Vinnie Vincent and Eric Carr uh, when they weren't in makeup. That was yeah. That was cool, man. That was good. They're all up on the stage as a big tank. That that was cool. That was cool. And then I remember Halloween night, the reunion show, where Gene, where Ace and Peter came back, and Gene flew straight up in the air to a platform um, during God of Thunder. And at the beginning, when he's spitting blood, he levitated straight up in the air. 
and landed right up on the platform. That's another good memory. That's another good memory I have at KISS. You know, people, yeah. people, it blows my mind. Okay, look, we all have opinions. I get it. I get it. But I don't care what anybody says about Gene Simmons. He's smart. He is very smart. He was smart enough and had enough business acumen enough to know that when Kiss was getting ready to take off in the 70s, he saw it was coming, the writing was on the wall, and he jumped on it. And before, right before Kiss blew up in the 70s, he had already started Kiss Comics, and he had already, and he had already, um, well, Kiss Comics comes to mind. He had already started Kiss Comics, and then a little while later, bam, Kiss blew up. And it's like, talk about, talk about intelligent and intelligent move, you know? And, and I can't fault him for anything, really. I don't hang out with the guy, nor would I say anything against him. I admire him and Paul greatly, greatly, greatly. Their yeah. whole music, their songwriting, their stage persona. Right. You'll never hear me I, say anything about them. Man. I like to keep it about the music. I, I don't, <laughs> you know, you hear a lot of the offstage stuff and, you know, and they a lot of people get hung up on all, all of that. Um, but yeah, you know, I keep, keep it about the music. Those old kiss albums are a part of my youth and my DNA. You know, I mean, yeah. uh, kiss was the first show I ever went and saw. I was 10 years old, 1976. You know, I mean, so I've seen them a bunch with makeup. I like the the, the non makeup. I never saw Vinny in no makeup. I saw Bruce with no makeup. Um, I think I, that was I saw him hot in the shade. Um, yeah. But I I I think that the non makeup years don't get enough love you know um that's what i think anyway i agree it, it it was a lot of other 80s style rock music uh in that landscape at the time but kiss's non-makeup years tend to be a little o overshadowed by all the rock movement of the time you know um hey hey Dwight Bailey's here. What's going on, Dwight? Dwight in the house. The hit man. Yeah. How you doing, Dwight? Kiss never made a song I didn't look, I didn't like. Yeah, me neither, man. Thanks for all tuning in. We appreciate y'all being here. Absolutely. I appreciate all of you. And I and I can't thank all of you enough for being here. Nice but, to see you, Dwight. How's yeah. your week been, bro? Yeah, how was your week, Dwight? So, Halenville, what's the latest? What is, what's the latest thing, the latest news on Halenville? The latest on Hal Halenville. So, you know, this show was created um three months ago now me and um johnny bean he is, is a good bud of mine and johnny's content on his channel obviously <laughs> it, it's no secret is a lot of van halen you know mm -hmm. um and he would have me on his shows, but 
we talked about doing a Van Halen show on his Thank you, Dwight. Facebook group, me and him, at an off afternoon once a week. And that never happened. He's trying trying to find either StreamYard or Stream. A lot of stuff you do over there, you can't do like you do on YouTube. It's tough to do. So we talked about doing a show on my channel. So I, I was like, yeah, let's do one on my channel. I don't want to do this on my channel unless you're a part of it. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, I support you and your channel. I respect you. If you'll be on board, I'll, I'll start a Van Halen show on my channel. Mm -hmm. So we did. We came up with the name. Sandra hel helped us with the process of getting the show ready and the artwork, et cetera. And um, we launched it in March and here it is June. Um, but the, the latest is. So next week, not this week, but next week on the Halenville live Sunday at 10 eastern on my my channel um that's two days after the wolfgang van halen album drops so we're we're gonna have a a album release party so awesome. to speak on awesome. the channel plus plus and on the 12th which is Saturday, next Saturday, right over here on, on this shoulder, I, I'm getting a Van Halen tattoo. <laughs> yeah. No so, way, dude. Yeah. Where are you, where you gonna get the like the? I I, I, I can't tell you. <laughs> Okay. I can't tell you. I, I'm not going to say if it's a logo or a portrait or a guitar or what. Okay. You'll, so, but on the on the Sunday Van Halen show, tune in, everybody. I'll unveil the new tattoo. I'll probably do some um, video clips in the chair, maybe, hopefully, while it's being done. But yeah, so that's next week on the show. Cool, man. Um, cool. Yeah, I, I got to shoot. I forgot to tell you. It's in there beside my amp. I got a new guitar last week. Yeah, I saw that. And it's period correct, man. It looks fantastic. Yeah. Got me a Frankie. Got, got me a Frankie. Like Frankie, dude. I... I, I I'll, now, I have all the respect in the world. Hey, Lenny. Hey, Lenny. I have all the respect in the world for the EVH company, the e EVH brand, Wolf, Matt, Bruck. I support them in every way. And that new two-year-old relic, um, Frankie, I almost got one, but the the it's accurate, but it's not very accurate. It's got Wolfgang pickups, Wolfgang tuners. The relicking is not complete. The the the, the stuff on the back of the guitar is not complete. It it it, it it's got a uh the the there's it's great parts in it, but it's not period correct. Um, so 
I found a guy who builds these relic EBH, get not EBH brand, but <laughs> these Van Halen style guitars, and he's made a lot of them. He's made the Neptune, the um, the the ad, the Kramer ad, the um, Garolitis guitar. He's made a bunch of Van Halen guitars, but he. All right. Sorry. What happened? I don't know if you could o overhear that message. I, yeah. My text messages, I have to hear it. My eyesight, I hate to look at my phone while I'm in the, the, the car and have to type or have to put my glasses on. Or so I just get it to read it to me. So it's on I, I i meant to mute it while i was live but <laughs> let me tell you that story Which um one? the one about this message that i just got yeah 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 tell okay so now reverend kurt who is on my hey Halenville live show a lot who is the co-host of a Andrew and Brad British Electric Blues Show on mm -hmm. YouTube. Yeah. Kurt lives on the West Coast. Where does okay? he live? He, he lives in Washington State. Got you. Up near Seattle. Tom Weber. Tom is the old guitar tech for Eddie Van Halen. Yeah. Is ha having a dinner private invite only thing where they're going to auction off a couple of guitars that Eddie owned once. And it's going to be a small group there. There's dinner served. They're giving door prizes away and but they're giving away guitar picks from tom weber at, at the door and you know me i i'm a guitar pick collector kurt's trying to get me one also and he texted me he's there said they gave, gave him one at the door at, and he texts back and said I got two, so you're gone, dude. Yes, yeah, so he got me one. So, yeah, that's a good, 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 good story, Tony. Good, good, good story. Yeah, old Kurt. Um, he's sending me a. Pick, oh, he's got a picture. No way, dude, of the guitars that are being auctioned. Let me send him this message via voice. Awesome, Kurt. Thank you, brother. Uh, hey, uh, Tony. Sandra asked you a question. I was late on the show today. No, I wasn't late. I don't think so. Was I? I, I don't know, man. I think you could have pretty cool. Oh, so, Lenny, is that on YouTube? I, I didn't realize it was on YouTube. Oh, look at that, man. Look at that. For a second there, I thought they were Rick Nielsen picks. Man. Awesome. Let's awesome. see what Lenny says. Are they? I didn't realize it was on YouTube. Let's 
Space Splat. <laughs> wow. For sure, Sandlin. Hey, Kirk, can, get, can you give me one, too? Laugh out loud. That's funny. Awesome, Kirk. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Kirk's so the do, man. Yes, he is. So do you have any... Um, do you have uh, any announcements, Tony, that um, you would like to get out there about any of your shows? Show me your pick in Halenville. Tomorrow we are doing – who are we doing tomorrow? I'm ha having a brain fart. It's been such a newsworthy week and an exciting <laughs> week. Um, Sandra, who who are we? We'll start with Hay Halenville on the show in a couple of days. We're gonna go around the horn. Me, Johnny, Tom, Neil Daly's gonna be back. The Doobie Brothers. Thank you. Prah. <laughs> Long week. Thank you, Chris. So on the Van Halen show, we're going to go around the horn. Er, 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 everyone's made their list, and we're going to pick the top five Eddie Van Halen guitar solos of all time. That's now, the, cool, these are from songs. These are not, it's not, it, it's excluding Eruption, Spanish Fly, 316 Cathedral, those pieces. It, it, these are solos from songs. Um, yeah. And I've got to narrow my list down <laughs> to five in my list. And I, I went through every record and anything noteworthy. I wrote it down. My list is still at 22. Yeah, that's way too, really. And I got to make a top five out of that. Make yeah. a top five out of it, man. Make a top five out of it. You could do it. I think. The no screenshots. <laughs> no screenshots. Put away a screen, Casabatic. <laughs> Sandra, first, he's going to be on. <laughs> Squat Squad Live. Squat Sandra's Squad channel. Live on San Sandra's channel every Saturday, 7 yeah. p.m. Eastern, where I help her explore the paranormal, the unexplained, anything, um, anything like that, ghost, UFOs, Bigfoot. We talk about it. We explore it. Um, it's a cool show. It's some cool content. So come and 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 she's brave. That's her thing. I'm chicken. I I'm I'm scared of ghosts. You know. Um, but you know. Um, it it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Sandra says I'm also a publicist, I guess. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Man could have comment and head on exploring Sandra. <laughs> Mancura. <laughs> Funny. I like Jonathan Mancura. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Well, <laughs> that was good. Hey, um, everybody, I just want to, first off, thank everybody uh, for being here today. And I want to thank everybody for coming and hanging out with me and Tony. And I want you to know that next week is my birthday week. Uh-oh. So. Uh-oh. As part of my birthday present to myself, on June 8th, 
all the way from Bangladesh. I've got Ash Ravens, who's in Canada right now, has a, has requested to come on Hanging with the Dreamer. He's got a new album coming out. And Ash is going to share his story from Bangladesh all the way to Canada. It's going to be good, folks. Nice. Awesome, Will. Ash Ravens. And a day after my birthday, June 11th, I've got guitar, mysterious guitarist extraordinaire Derek Flores is coming um, coming on the show also. Nice. I'm hanging with the dreamer. And on top of that, and I wanted to say this for, for last, but most of uh -oh. get ready, Tony. Get ready. Here you go, Tony. Upon a discussion with my good buddy here, Tony Neville from Raleigh, North Carolina, I have decided to move my show, well, add an extra episode a week, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, starting on Thursday. So that means Hanging with the Dreamer is going to be during the normal times, the early morning times when I have guests from Germany which I have quite a bit. Plus, Hanging with the Dreamer will also be at, around this time. Now, I will be doing two shows a month. Hanging with the Dreamer live on Thursday at 6.15 p.m. or 6.30 p.m. I'm taking your advice, Tony. I've already scheduled some shows. I'm all in. That's that's 9.15 Eastern time on a night where there's no Thursday night YouTube music live streams going on. So that that will be a perfect time. Now we have something to watch on Thursday. <laughs> Yay. Yep. I, I'm sitting here in Dreamland Studios, and I might turn this over here. I have these beauties right here. I got James Marshall Hendricks over there. I might turn this around a little bit more. I've got... My mixer is sitting right here, and I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I think it's time. I think it's time. Hanging with the Dreamer is on a roll. Hanging with the Dreamer is published. And now, what was the Circus of the Dark Modeling News Magazine has changed its name to a High Voltage Video Magazine. And I'm still the only broadcaster in there. So that makes four months in a row. And I thought to myself, and you can find the magazine on Facebook. A big shout out to Jay Ramming, Dave Navarro's cousin. Love your brother. So you know what? Let's keep going. And in typical dreamer fashion, I don't know how I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm just doing it, man. So, Rock on, Will. I'm just doing it. Rock so on, you, brother. It's going to be 6.15 time slot on Thursdays, like maybe twice a month just to get my wheel, the greasy wheel, you know, oil, get that squeaky wheel, Thursday evening wheel going. And But be, look, be on the lookout, dreamers. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to Tony's channel. And let me tell you, before I, before I vanish into thin air till next week, when I will be back with Ash Ravens, 
he just emailed me about five minutes before the show today. This is going to be badass. Cool, man. I am honored. Oh. I am honored. I am pumped. I am excited. And the time for the dreamer's life is now. And I have all of you to thank. I have Tony to thank. I have Sandra to thank because you both put a bug in my ear and you got me to really think about it. Well, in typical dreamer fashion, it came to me in a dream. I was in bed. I had my right eye open. My left eye was in the pillow. And I'm looking out my right eye, and I thought to myself, 3.30 in the morning, and I thought, just do it. So, here we go, man. So, you will see morning shows when I have a guest from Germany. You will see 3 o'clock afternoon shows. And then, at least twice a month, you will see Thursday evening shows. Cool, Will. Cool, bro. So, Rock Let's on, go, man. man. Let's go. Let's get the one-two punch, man. One-two punch. Yeah, Tony, man. follow Tony's links. Follow, follow, follow Tony's links. Sandra says, life can be a dream, sweetheart. <laughs> Shabu, Damn right. Let's see. What else? Great stream, Will. Well, thank you, Sandra. The dreamer's life, <laughs> you got to get rid of all of the aliases and Nightbot. Actually, I did that. Uh, Dwight Bailey says, rock hard, Will. Sandra said, thank you for throwing out my support. And thank you, Sandra, for being my moderator. Tony, I want to tell everybody, if you haven't seen Tony's shows, if you haven't seen Halenville, if you haven't seen Show Me Your Pick with Charles Green, if you haven't seen the stuff and seen Sanders' show, I highly recommend you got to check this out because it's phenomenal. It's an absolute... All three shows are absolute masterpieces. Thank you, Will. Thank you. This is going to be on all all of the shows, all three. That this this upcoming couple of months and and couple of weeks and month uh, upcoming are going to be very exciting, very exciting times, very exciting show, very exciting content. I'm I'm so pumped. Um, so, yeah, thank you, Will, for having me here today. Hey, man. Um, Anytime. Thanks to everybody in the chat. Absolutely, Go subscribe man. down here. Check out Will. Give Will some, some love and, and you, support. Kevin. His shows happen often. He's got a couple of weeks. Sometimes they, they might not be at the same time. It'll come up on your feed, so check Will out. Yeah. A dreamer's life, man. A dreamer's life has the support of people like Tony Neville, Sandra Picorni, and all the rest of my dreamers, man. Thank you for allowing the dreamer's life and for allowing me to be a part of your of your trip and of, and of the creative vision. And I can't Thank you enough for being my friend and for for coming in to the dreamer's world, the magical, mystical world of the dreamer. And I, I want to tell you, Tony, I love you, man. You're my brother. You're my friend. And I thank you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Dude. It's it, it's totally my pleasure, Will. Totally. Always great to see you. All, always great to hang out with you, brother. Absolutely. Thank you, Tony. 
be on the lookout for the links and go to my page. Go to Tony's pages, subscribe, follow all of Tony's social media, follow all of Sandra's social media, follow all of essential the stuff going on with essential guitarists on Facebook, in which I'm I'm a pretty big part of that. And and keep on the lookout for Guts Appreciation Day, the Ascension or uh, the Dreaming Guitarist Show. Stay on the lookout because those are the two shows where I invite people to jump on. You never know who's going to click on these links, you guys. But I've got a good feeling that one of these shows or both of these shows is going to have some very surprising guests. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Be ready. Because the Dreamer is, Tony is, Sandra is, Noah, Dwight Bailey, everybody. Thanks, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't, I can't stress enough how much everybody in the chat means to me. And thank you. Thank you. And hey, hey you've been around for a while. You want to be on Guest Appreciation Show? Jump on. Next time Tony's on, jump on. The next time you see a Guest Appreciation Show, the next one will be in July. The Dreaming Guitarist Show will be in three weeks. Come on. Yeah, the water's fine. The pool's great. Come on in. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. And follow Tony. Follow, follow Tony. Follow, follow Will. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Much love, man. Peace. Peace.